Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse, and today we're going to take a look at the new DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise. So stay right there. Well, the Mavic 2 Enterprise is now shipping, and a lot of you have questions about what it is, what comes with it, who it's for, how do the accessories work, and we're going to go into that. So first off, it does come in this nice hard case. It's a really nice Pelican style case, really secure clasps on it here, nice uh, ceiling in here, good foam, all cut out with everything that you need. We have a box with all the manuals, the remote, the aircraft, cables, propellers, the charger, the speaker, spotlight, and beacon. There's room here for three batteries, and this compartment pulls out, and there's room for three more, giving you a total of seven batteries that you can put in this thing. Let's pull this thing out, and I will show you how everything works. So the aircraft itself looks a lot like a Mavic 2 Zoom. Uh, it's the same camera, mostly the same body and everything, but there's a few key differences, mostly in the internals. Inside, there is an ADS-B receiver, so it can detect manned aircraft that are in your area and warn you for any potential infractions of your area. That is a very cool feature. Airports love that because you know where the other airplanes are. It also has data encryption built in, so you can password protect everything to make sure that your data is safe. And then most importantly, it has the accessory port on top. If you take a Mavic 2 Zoom and compare it to this, the only thing that you're going to notice is the port on top. So if we take this off, we see that there is a micro USB cable port in here, and that is how all the accessories plug in, is right through micro USB, and then they secure in there. So I'm going to go ahead and take the gimbal guard off here and show you how the accessories come together. They simply drop in place and then tighten down with the thumb screws. So I'll go ahead and fire this up and I can show you how the different things work. I got my phone right here and I'll plug it into the lightning port and I'm going to run the new pilot app, not the Go4 app. This is a new pilot app. It's a new app for the Mavic 2 Enterprise. Now other aircraft may follow suit to being added to the Pilot app, but right now on iOS, the Pilot app is only for the Mavic 2 Enterprise. On Android, it supports a much broader range of aircraft. Mostly anything that works with the Go4 app is going to work in the Pilot app, so keep that in mind. So on the screen here, we have an icon to turn the beacon on and off, and I made the mistake of looking at it, and all I see is dots now, so there is that. There's no other settings for the beacon besides on and off. So I'll go ahead and put on the spotlights, the beacon here. And notice you can hot swap these accessories. Get it off there. Come on. And I'll go with the spotlight. And just a few moments after it's secured in place, an icon will appear right on the screen. Now I can just turn these on and off, and I have my spotlight working. Now the spotlight is tiltable by hand. There's no uh, way of controlling this remotely. When we go into the settings, there's an accessory icon, and I can adjust the brightness. Now, without it being in the air, I can only do 50% brightness just to protect people's eyes. Once it's in the air, you can go up to 100%. So you can change the settings here, and then from the main app, turn the lights on and off. Okay, now let's take a look at the loudspeaker. This is one of the coolest things. Uh, I wasn't sure that this was going to work. You're putting a speaker on a, an aircraft. You have the prop noise and everything. But the Mavic 2 Enterprise is a remarkably quiet machine. So it works really well for this. In our tests, we were able to go out about 600 feet, and in our business park here, we're right across the street from the airport, it's a fairly busy street, and we are still able to hear it at 600 feet. Maybe not super clear, but if you were out in 
the mountains, the wilderness, that 600 feet would go a long way. At 400 feet, we could hear it very clear. And at 250 feet, it, it was very loud. So it does work extremely well. Now I'm gonna show you a couple things on here. We can go into the settings, go to the accessory port, and this is where I can manage my different uh, files. So I can go and delete, confirm it, I can add more, and then we have the speaker volume. For best results, I recommend keeping the speaker volume at 80%. Above that, and it starts getting a little raspy, but at 80%, it sounds really good. Now to add a new one that you'll be able to pull up at any time, we just go to add and hit tap to talk. This is a search and rescue team. Please stay where you are. A rescue team will be there as quickly as possible. So I hit save. I can give it a file name or just take the date, hit confirm, and it will then upload it to the aircraft. So it takes about uh, two or two times longer than your recording to actually send it. So if you're sending a four or five second uh, message, it's gonna take eight, nine seconds total to upload it. Okay, now we can go back to our main settings here and hit play. Now you can also loop those so it just continuously plays. Or I can do instant broadcast which is similar to just recording it and uploading it, but it doesn't store it for future use. So those are the different accessories that are available on the Mavic 2 Enterprise. Now, who is this for? Well, obviously, public safety is a big one. Search and rescue teams, fire departments, police departments, they could really benefit from the different accessories here. In some cases, construction, inspection, and other types of services where using a light along with the zoom lens may come in very handy. So it's a broad range of applications that the Mavic 2 Enterprise is geared for. Now another difference between the Mavic 2 Enterprise and the regular Mavic 2 is the battery. The Enterprise batteries have heaters built in. That allows them to fly down to temperatures around 14 degrees Fahrenheit. And the Flymore kit for the Enterprise has everything that the regular Flymore kit has, but it also has the Enterprise batteries and a larger shoulder bag to store all the accessories. Now we're not allowed to post the prices online, so if you'd like a quote on a Mavic 2 Enterprise, please contact us at enterprise at multicopterwarehouse.com. We'll get back to you as quickly as I can with all the different pricing. This has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.